Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss Are you learning data science in a right way? Now, I've seen people who are preparing for data science from past 6 months, 3 months, even 9 months, even more than 12 months, more than a year, you know, but still they are not able to make a successful career transition into data science. So when I ha I usually have those kind of conversation in my telegram channel where people say about Krish, I'm preparing for this many years, I'm not getting calls. Then I usually send them that, uh, okay, send me your resume. I really want to have a look onto your resume. And in the resume that I see with respect to their work experience, you know, and with respect to the kind of projects that they do is completely different. Okay. So what is the main problem? Why probably do you think? Even though people who are learning data science from six months, one year, or more than one year, they're also not able to make successful career transition. Whereas in people whom I have been teaching in iNeuron for somewhere around three months, they have actually made successful career transition. So we really need to understand what is the main thing or what is the main difference between them. So let me tell you one specific example, like how a person has actually made a successful career transition into data science even though he just uh, learned data science for four months in iNeuron and what all things he updated in his resume and considering this i really want to make a point over here is that are you learning data science in a right way okay so let me just take a very good example so recently one of the person who was completely from different background you know he learned data science for three to four months in iNeuron and then he started applying that specific knowledge in his domain because just understand that he was somewhere around three plus years experience. Okay. And he was working in some other domain, right? And he wanted to really apply that data science knowledge in his domain so that he can update his resume. Okay. Now, once he applied that specific knowledge in his uh, domain, he updated his resume. He easily got somewhere around three to four calls. Now, the main thing what I see that people are actually lacking is that people are not able to apply this data science in their domain itself. You may be working in any kind of domain, guys. You may be a manual tester. You may be an automation tester. You may be, come from a mechanical background. You may be coming from a IoT core company. You may be coming from different type of core companies. Okay, you may also be coming as a HR manager, you may be coming as from a sales, you may be working in the marketing domain, you may be working in different types of domain. Now, if you are learning data science, and if you're not able to apply that particular knowledge in your domain, trust me, you're doing something wrong. That basically means that you're not learning data science in a right way. How to fix this? I'll let you know about it also, guys. But just understand, I've seen so many people when I see their resume, I see their past working experience and the thing that they have actually done in data science is nowhere related to that specific work. Then what is the suggestion that I will give? Try to go and see with respect to your domain. What do you think? Where can you actually apply? Now, this is very, very much. You really need to think about it, guys. Just understand that. Okay, I am working as a manual tester. Okay, probably I'm working in some kind of projects, right? I have to go and explore in that particular project after learning, you know, probably I've just learned for three months machine learning, just, just, just take this as an example. Now, after learning machine learning for three months, now I should definitely think that can I apply something with whatever work that I'm doing? I can also, can I add as an additional module where I'm actually in manual testing, what do you do? We, we do different kind of testings, right? We simply just go and open the browser, we check the application entirely. Now as a manual tester, I should definitely think, okay, can I ap apply data science to ease in my work, to automate some process, to add some specific models, which will help me to do some kind of testing. A person from a mechanical engineer he's working in some manufacturing domain now he should be thinking can i add some ai module in this manufacturing domain itself if a person is basically there in the logistic domain or sales domain can i add some ai modules in whatever work that i am doing then only your experience will count that you have done some kind of work 
Now for those kind of work also, you need approval from your manager. So I'm saying that initially start just as an idea, a proof of concept and try to implement some things with respect to that. When you are able to implement that particular part in your domain, trust me later on with whatever domain you actually work in, you will be able to think like how data science can be applied over there. Now, this is the thing many people are lagging. Because whenever I see their resume, I see that the projects that you are uploading in your resume is completely far away from the type of work that you're doing. If you're a fresher, now when I say what is a fresher, understand your first time entering into the industry. Okay, that is called as a fresher, a person who is learning data science and who has already worked in this industry as something, whether in sales, marketing, you have worked already. That is not a fresher. A fresher is a person who is first time entering into the industry. And if you are a fresher, it is fine to pick up any domain project. But if you have actually worked in any of this domain for two to three years, okay? And yes, you may be saying, Krish, if, what if, if we don't know any programming language, will I be considered as a fresher? No, guys, you have that domain knowledge, which is very much necessary for you all, right? So always remember this thing, guys. You... When you're learning data science, whether you've learned for one month, two months, three months, always keep that thought process going in your mind, how I can apply in my domain. Then only you will be able to grow in this field, guys. Then only you'll be able to talk in front of the interviewers. Then only you'll be able to make your resume more attractive. And once your resume is there, once you know how to modify it, how to fine tune it with respect to the job profiles, you will be getting definitely a lot of calls and plus you'll also be getting jobs because in interviews understand one thing that you also need to explain to the interviewer now when you are able to say that how i actually apply data science in your domain in your technology i think the interviewer will be pretty much satisfied to hire you nowadays companies you know they are also incorporating ai right in them for their specific work. They're also thinking how we can actually use AI in their specific work. Then only the AI, then only the companies are basically using AI technologies, right? Understand this thing. Now, how do you fix this particular problem? What, what about those people, you know, they may be saying, Krish, what if I'm not able to apply anything in my domain? I am working in some domain over there and there also I'm not able to apply anything. Guys, that only I'm saying, you have to bring that thought process some or the other thing definitely you'll be able to apply how to practice it after every month whatever you're learning try to bring that try to try to bring that thought process make it as a habit brainstorm your mind how i'm actually going to do it try to take the help of all the mentors whom you are learning from you know whom you are learning from right try to take the help of them also like how can i apply this specific knowledge in my domain I, I'm working in this kind of things because I get this kind of questions a lot. Then I have to give them a suggestion that, okay, if you are doing this particular work, why don't you do this? I'll give you one example, guys. A security person who will be taking care of your home, he can also bring, he can also use AI in his domain, right? Just imagine, guys, there is a security wala who is actually sitting in outside your campus apartment or your house itself. You know, taking care of the person who was entering, who was coming inside and who's going outside, right? Just imagine if he takes just the video feed from the security camera itself, so many different kind of object detection things he can actually do. He can actually track vehicles, which is coming in and coming, going out. He can automate that entire process. I'm just telling one example, even a security wala can also apply data science in his domain, right? It's all about thought process, guys. Every month, whenever you are learning data science, every 15 days, uh, you learned a new algorithm. You, 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 you did an end-to-end -end project. Just go and think that how can I apply this in my specific field, which I'm actually working. If you're able to bring this thought process, guys, trust me, you'll be able to clear the interview very quickly, right? And because I have seen within three months a person learning data science, machine learning, just for three months, he is able to make successful career transition because he brought this thought process in his mind, right? So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. And every now and then, you should definitely be thinking 
are you learning data science in the right way so bye bye have a great day